Hey guys, Ivan here and I have a lot of physique updates and all kinds of bodybuilding news for today actually, but we're gonna start with this one first. Uh, we have Kim Williams and his physique update at about 5 weeks out. So he looks huge, that, that's his trademark. This guy is an absolute beast, an absolute unit. He is one of the biggest uh, top bodybuilders today, top pros, top Olympians, and he is probably the strongest one, the strongest of all of them. He's squatting like 7-8 plates for reps, for reps. Here you can see him standing next to the Mr. Olympia Brandon Curry at the Arnold Classic. Sure, Brandon had more polish, more details, better conditioning. But was it that different? Was the difference that big? I mean, was Brandon really miles ahead of Akim? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so, really. I mean, this is just one photo. It doesn't say anything. But I was watching the live stream and I noticed that they have very similar builds. But Akim is bigger. Akim is definitely bigger. He doesn't have the same details as Brandon. He doesn't have the same proportions. Uh, Brandon has a little bit smaller legs, but the details on his legs are better. And uh, the details on his stomach and the lead taper just flows a little bit better. But uh, overall, they're not that far apart. They're pretty close, actually. Pretty close, but not in terms of placing. However, this year, don't be too surprised if this guy makes a leap. I just wanted to warn you, to give you a heads up. I believe Kim Williams at the Iron Classic 2020 is going to do great. It's all about conditioning for him. He never really came super dry because he has very, very thick skin, you know, the opposite of thin. So his skin seems kind of pretty thick. He was coached by Dave Palombo and Dave says that. I mean, he can get uh, very lean, but he just doesn't have those details. He doesn't have that crispy look. Why is that? It seems like it's just genetics, but I think it's just water retention. If he somehow manages to get really dry, he is lean, he has no fat. If he just manages to get totally you know, crispy looking, if he gets that fine level of crazy insane conditioning, he is going to do some damage because he has all the muscle that he needs, he has full and big legs and glutes and hamstrings, back is huge, arms are insane, chest is there, his waist is actually pretty small compared to his arms and shoulders, so he has everything. He just needs conditioning to be one of the top guys, really. So, I mean, he can mess up the conditioning again, it's possible. But I just, some, I just have a hunch, you know, I have a feeling that he's going to do great. So don't be too surprised. Just a heads up for you guys. I think Akim is going to do great at the Arnold Classic. Okay, next we have a dark horse who may, you know, end up winning the Arnold Classic. Patrick Moore, who is prepping with the field hit. A lot of people have this guy, you know, taking one of the top spots. And judges know that. The judges are having him on their eyesight. They are expecting him to come great. And even if he doesn't, I think he's going to have a little bit better placing than he would have like a year or two years ago because of his name. His name really blew up because he really brought an amazing shape to the Mr. Olympia stage. Is he going to improve on that? He doesn't seem that much bigger than he was last year. So I don't really expect some kind of tremendous, amazing change, but I do expect him to do good. To, do, to, do, to be, I, I would say, fourth place. I'm gonna make a prediction video for Arnold Classic and I think I'm gonna give him fourth place and I think that's very generous because there is no way he can beat guys like Big Ramy, Dexter Jackson and William Bonek. The others, it's possible because of the conditioning, but these three guys, they can come out of shape and uh, they will probably beat him even like that. But when I say out of shape, can you imagine William Bonek and Dexter Jackson out of shape? These guys have their formula figured out and they're not gonna come out of shape. And they're just much bigger and more complete than Patrick. And Big Remy, he can come out of shape, but he's just too big. Too big for a small Patrick Moore. So, you know, Big Remy is definitely cracking the top three. That's for sure. So, in best case scenario, Patrick is going to take that fourth spot, which is great. I mean, you don't expect him to beat top guys like Dexter, Bonek, and Big Remy after being 10th in the Mr. Olympia. So, fourth place in the Iron Classic is amazing for him. Here you can see his physique and his really lean, I mean, he has five weeks to go, so he's going to get even drier, of course, this is not contest ready, but it's up there, it's quite almost there, and you can see, he looks amazing, he has those genetics, I mean, the small waist to the big arms, uh, okay, let's say genetically big arms, not because of Sintel, a lot of guys, I mean, a vocal minority really gets pissed off when I mentioned that somebody, anybody has Sintel in their muscle, anyways, Patrick Moore, five weeks out, looking really good, 
fourth place the best case scenario unless Hakim comes in shape for example or Cedric for example these guys are just much bigger and more complete and more established and um, they cannot really lose to Patrick just because they have much more muscle basically that's it that's the only reason all right next news is actually very interesting and it's really really sports news I mean it's Arnold Classic UK we never had this before. Arnold Classic is a, a long-lasting, uh, I wouldn't say just bodybuilding competition, but sports event. And now we're getting a new one. Arnold Classic UK. So Eddie Hall, the strongest man in the world in 2017, I believe. I'm not sure about that. But uh, one of the top strong men in the world and uh, a guy with an amazing personality, actually. He has an amazing YouTube channel. He has, he has a really great sense of humor. I'm really amazed that he's, he has such an interesting personality i mean he would be interesting for me even if he wasn't a strong man but he really is a great guy and extremely strong and huge so he posted this and he says never thought i mean a million years i'd be doing a business with arnold schwarzenegger growing up watching a man i admired and idolized to now working with him is honestly the best thing ever cannot wait to show the uk what the arnold sports uk is all about Arnold Schwarzenegger, hashtag, and dream big, achieve big, blah, blah, blah. And he actually has a comment from Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. So that's it. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't really have any more info. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. Arnold Classic UK. Is it going to be also a bodybuilding show? I'm pretty sure it's going to be. I'm not sure which federation is it going to be. Is it going to be MPC or IBB Pro League or IBB or IBB Elite Pro? As far as I noticed, most competitions in Europe are actually Elite Pro, not MPC, not IBB Pro League, the ones that we're talking about. And it sucks, and it sucks. I definitely like MPC more because that's Mr. Olympia. That's Arnold Classic Ohio. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, and so on. I mean, IBB Elite Pro is nothing yet. It's going to become maybe something bigger in the future, but right now, it's, it's a joke, let's be honest. So I hope... Uh, Arnold Sports UK is going to be MPC show? Probably not. I don't really get the impression because most of the uh, European top shows are hi BB. But we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Is it even going to be a bodybuilding show? But 2021 is the year when it is starting and I'm sure until then we're going to hear a lot more information about it. Alright, next one is a photo from Dan Solomon's Instagram. Dan Solomon is Vice President and Chief Olympia Officer at AMI, of course, and he took a photo with Flex Lewis, former 7x212 champion, Mr. Olympia, of course, and a future Mr. Olympia Open contender. Now, it's just a photo of themselves. It's nothing else. It's not an update what the show is Flex going to do. Is he going to go straight to the Mr. Olympia? Does he need to even qualify for Mr. Olympia 2020? Uh, I just hope you're going to see him in great shape. But based on this photo right here, look at the size of those forearms and those arms. <laughs> but especially forearms because you can only see them. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This is not human-like. This is the forearms such as Hulk has. Hulk, literally. I mean, this is just insane. So I'm sure Flex is going to be one of the biggest guys at Mr. Olympia stage. How well will he do? Is he a better bodybuilder than William Bonek, who is about the same height as him? I don't think so. I don't think he is, really. So I don't really expect Flex to do better than, like, top six. Some people even have him winning the Mr. Olympia, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Last year, he was 212 pounds, of course. He actually was exactly that much at wings. So, how much bigger can he really be? How much muscle can he add and how much muscle can he actually preserve without having to cut the weight? What are we expecting here? 225, 235, 230, 220? Something in that ballpark, probably 220 up to 230, 235 tops. I don't think he's going to be much bigger than that. I believe Bonek is in his 230s on stage. So, I don't know, I think Flex is not as complete as Bonac, not as thick from behind, and so on. But, we'll see what it looks like at the Mr. Olympia stage. Top 6 is, is a great achievement, but it really depends who's gonna show up. Imagine Phil Heath coming back and Sean Roden and Big Ramy this time around. Those three guys weren't at uh, Mr. Olympia 2019. Imagine if Kai Green comes back too, then it's going to be really tough to crack the top 6. It's probably not gonna happen for Flex. 
but I don't think all these guys are going to come back. So I think realistically, that's probably the best case scenario for Flex. But look at his forearms. He's absolutely huge. He, he's insane. Just huge. Wow. Okay, next one is a really quick physique update of George Dabul Peterson, who is actually transferring to 212. He's doing the New York Pro for his 212 debut, and I'm sure he's gonna do great. Uh, he has the potential to become the Mr. Olympia 212, if you ask me. This guy is so gifted, and he's huge right now. So that's it, just a quick update. Next, we have an update, a training video of Hari Chopin, and if you guys were wondering how did he make his legs grow that much, this is how. If you want to have a legs like his, lift this much weight on a leg press with a really good form as well. So he is lifting, I don't know how much weight this is, but it's a lot. And these guys are holding the plates on top of it because there is no more room. Also, a quick little update, but the moral of the story is all these top pros are strong as hell. So don't expect to get big just by pumping the weights. You need to lift some heavy ass stuff. Okay, also very quickly, I wanted to show you what Sergio Oliva is looking right now at about 5x out of Iron Classic and he's very lean. He's actually very lean at 5x out. And he's big, he's big. He didn't really change drastically. It's not going to be a new version of him, but I'm sure it's going to be a little bit improved. So he's trained by uh, Chris Cormier. So that, that guy, that's gonna mean something. I mean, if you have a top trainer like that, his nutritionist is Chris Asiero. So he has a top nutritionist and a top trainer, and he has a lot of wind in his back from all the fans. Everybody who wants to see him do as well as his father, you know, who was Mr. Olympia three times. So, it's a lot of pressure on him. A lot of pressure. But uh, I hope he's going to utilize all that pressure positively and actually, you know, achieve great things in the future. He's not that young anymore. He's about 35 or something. But he looks, he looks great. I mean, I love his physique. It's not as complete and as thick as some of the other bodybuilders. He is not exactly that competitive to be, you know, the top bodybuilder, to be like the Iron Classic winner or something like that. But he still looks amazing. He looks amazing. All that pressure from everybody expecting him to do, as well as his father, really puts him in a tough position. And you can see it in his personality. He has a lot of rage. And he shows that rage regularly on social media. I don't like to see that, but that's what it is. I'm sure it's not easy to be a son of one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time and to be actually a professional bodybuilder, one of the top pros. So, you guys tell me, what do you expect him to do at the Arnold Classic or in the future as a bodybuilder? Does he really have the chance to surpass his father in terms of Mr. Olympia winnings? But you guys, you need to remember, back when his father was winning the Mr. Olympia titles, there was nobody else pretty much. Him and maybe like two guys, so there was basically no competition even though he was amazing, Sergio Oliva was super genetically gifted and he looked absolutely insane for it, especially for that era. But today it's much tougher. The competition is just much harder. So you can't really compare these two guys, but it is what it is. I mean, he looks amazing still, Junior. Unlike all the other Arnold Schwarzenegger's sons, of course, <laughs> nobody really took the path of a bodybuilder. So it's amazing to have a son of a legend in bodybuilding world. So let's be grateful for him. And let's hope for him to do the best that he can. All right, next we have a little training video of Big Ramy. It was posted on his uh, story not so long ago. And he is lifting pretty heavy weights at about five weeks out. So apparently he is very driven. You can see it in his face. He's super focused. He doesn't look at anybody while he's training. He's just focused on the weights. And that's what I like about Big Ramy. He's really into this sport. He took one year off and he's back. He, he is back immediately. And I like to see that. The other guys, a lot of them just took a year off and then it was another year and another year. And they keep telling us they're going to come back and they don't. Big Ramy just took a break one year and he's back already. He's not only back, but he's potentially going to be our next Mr. Olympia champion. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing him at the Arnold Classic more than I was looking forward to see Brandon Curry at the Mr. Olympia and the other guys. So this Arnold Classic 2020 is going to be definitely more exciting and overall better show than Mr. Olympia 2019. Can't wait to see them. What's up with Phil Heath? What's up with him? Everybody's wondering, everybody's making videos, everybody's talking about him, and we do not really know. We know that he's huge right now. He's 265. 
which is insane, which is a lot of weight. He's really huge. He's legit huge. So he's doing something. What is that going to be? I'm not sure, but he posted this and he says, I'm definitely making my next move my best move. Gonna take a whole new level of work ethic, determination, faith, and blah, blah, blah. So basically, what he's saying is something new is going to happen in his life. A new move. It doesn't seem like winning another Mr. Olympia title, what he's saying. He could have given up on bodybuilding. It seems like he lost the fire. What is going to happen next? I don't know. He's making that movie about himself. That's interesting. Is he going to try to become an actor? Or something completely else? Or is this an announcement for coming back to the bodybuilding and maybe trying to win 10 Sandos, 3 more, which is legit possible, it's really easy for him actually, with this kind of competition, even with that bubble gut that he has, he can still do it. So I'm curious what his plans are, but I don't know, nobody knows. Based on this, something is cooking, something is definitely in his plans. Did he get the fire for bodybuilding, the passion back? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to happen eventually. If this is not talking about bodybuilding, I'm sure he's going to get that drive again. Maybe not 220, maybe not 221, but I'm sure it's going to happen before it is too late. He's only 40. Dexter is 50 and he's still doing great. So he potentially has 10 more years to do good because he didn't really lose any mass of his legs or arms or anywhere. It's just his stomach with hernias that's problem. And he says that he recovered from those hernias, hernia surgeries, to be precise, much better this time. So anything is possible, really. What was he referring to in this post? We cannot be sure. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave the like down below. Also comment, tell me what you think about whatever. And subscribe for more bodybuilding news and all kinds of bodybuilding content. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.